couple of days. Feels good. Yeah, we did pass the Soul Ring and then trophied. And we did the step. Yeah, we did complete the step. Yep, that's true. That's true. Let's see. Is thy best? Says, Q's, says uh, Cube Time's best time. They're having a friend over at their place and they played their Vintage Cube and Mario Party 1 all day. What a way to start the weekend. Cool. Yeah, it sounds like a pleasant day for sure. The skip was not to skip the soul ring, no. No, the skip was to open three, at least three boosters. Which we did do. There's a few reasonable options here. Factor Fiction does the best job of cutting blue. And then there's Karn. I think I'm gonna take the Demir Signet. When I start with a pack one, pick one Mox. I like the idea of dropping a Signet on turn one. So we can play a four drop on turn two. Yeah, it's no, it's no fun to get um, ghosted dogs dramatic. I'm def I definitely feel that. I don't think you can resent someone for not being into you <clears throat> based on like your perceptions of a uh, of how well or how nice the date was, though. I don't think that's, I don't think that's fair, right? We're all living in our own meat popsicles, have our own experiences, and shit comes up, life stuff comes up. People die and just aren't in a place where they can deal with other folks. Interests change. But it certainly is no fun to be ghosted. Just take a Delta here. Could take Emery. I think people that do do a lot of ghosting dogs dramatic have had experiences with being harassed when trying to turn someone down. Not that I'm saying ghosting someone is okay. Obviously, it's not okay. But I do have a little bit of sympathy. Or maybe sympathy is the wrong word. Empathy. Whichever, whichever one means I don't condone the behavior, but I can like kind of see where it's coming from. <laughs> it's, it's, the, it's the one that I mean. I don't know. And you grab Titan, just in case we end up... I should have grabbed that fucking Emery. Then we could take Duretti here and be all set up. We still could. I was thinking Titan might be good if we end up with Tinker. Yeah, that's true, Cactus Galactus. If you don't really know someone that well, because you've only been on one date, you don't really know how they'll respond. Some people are completely, absolutely unhinged, and you don't really find out until 
the slightest bit of adversity goes in their way. Interesting teasem. Terrifying, but but interesting. Sorry I had to go through that shit. Let's take damnation. Let's take damnation and maybe just be It's a fucking control deck. I haven't been on a I haven't been on a first date in a very long time. But I remember like I think it might have, must have been like four or five years ago. I went on a Tinder date. And, um... At one point, they uh, they took a selfie with me to send to their, uh, their sister. Just in case they, like, disappeared or whatever. I thought that was super smart. Even if, uh... And even if someone is like, like someone who's not deranged is gonna like understand why someone would do something like that, right? You're like, oh, you're being safe, taking precautions. That's sensible. And now it's someone that is deranged is gonna have this this paper trail keeping them in check potentially. I like Mamp Tutor. I don't think we're really an upheaval deck, but maybe we are. We have some acceleration. I'm just gonna take the damn upheaval. Ooh, Force of Will. I like that one. If we grabbed through the breach earlier, we'd have Sneak now. The world is a friggin' scary place. Yeah, that's a good way to put it. The world is indeed a scary place. Do I think blue is good in the cube? I do. I do indeed. Especially when it's gloriously open. Normally I would take Jace like really highly. I'm unsure if this deck would prefer like Gruel Signet or Frost Titan. Leobolt's not completely out of the picture, but it's kind of out of the picture. I don't really want to add. Like, I'm not sure I want to even play the Damnation, much less add a green to. I do think Frost Titan's good in this deck. Frost Titan and Upheaval are, like, kind of doing something somewhat on the same page. We'll see it wouldn't be bad. I'm just going to take the Jace. Ooh, a Library. I'll draft a Library. Nice Cactus Galactus, yeah. Not nice that someone has to do that, obviously, but nice the folks are staying safe, looking out for each other.
Luteral Core works pretty well with Crucible and Duretti. We already have Jace, though, doing something similar. I'm gonna take this Tundra. We just had a really good Conjecture deck. This doesn't seem like a really good Conjecture deck. Seems like we're trying to do something a little bit different. Yorian could be okay, Knight's Whisper could be okay. Let's take the Whisper. Maybe Twin is just the most open. Are we secretly are we secretly a twin deck? Have we been been a twin deck this whole time? Image versus Titan. I like that image is a blue card for Force of Will. I like that Titan is a fucking Titan. So now we don't have, um, what is it? We don't have the Wasteland for our Crucible, but Wasteland plus Crucible is always a little... It's not live against everybody, right? Yeah, when the Splinter Twin wheeled, I thought there might be a chance with the key Jiggy Wheels, too. Maybe got paid off for that. This isn't a bad Twin Shell. We have a little bit of card draw. A little bit of hello! Back-to-back -back Time Walk decks? I'm so glad I didn't, like, avoid blue, because we just did mono blue. That would have been silly of me. That would have been really sad. Fucking love Time Walk decks. We didn't take the Conjecture earlier, though. Now we have Force Negation and Force of Will. Let's see, right now our only raw card draw spell is Consecrated Sphinx and Library of Alexandria. Getting like one more like real draw spell in here could be nice. We passed Thirst for Knowledge and Factor Fiction already though, so there's not a lot left. But like a Delve card, right? I don't know if we saw Treasure Cruise or whatever, but that card would fit in here well. Yeah, there's Cruise. We're gonna take Time Warp over it, though. Sorry, Cruise. That is sad. Guard yourself. That is super sad. A very noble profession, but I can see how that would be hard. I'm not a big fan of Kazuma, but in this deck full of like all these time walks, maybe we just draft it anyway. We could have another fetch for the Crucible too. Did he Kazuma wheels? Probably not. We are not drafted, drafting the same deck. We have some of the same cards. That's a very different deck here. Cosmo with Time Walks is a draw spell, yeah. So you can make your land drops. Cosmo also gets a lot better if you actually like have fetch lands and stuff too, though. And I think there's a chance it wheels. God, we could Crark with Time Walks. Crux should wheel. Let's get Chandra up in this. Chandra's great. No twin pieces. We could throw Maze of Myth in the sideboard. We're burning. Is there a chance we play Inkwell? I think it's an outside chance. 
So there's a chance. Huh. It's starting to look like we are not a twin deck, huh? Weird. <laughs> I thought we were going to be a twin deck. Seeming less likely. I'm just thinking about the fill in our retreat in case we have to cut, um, which is looking like we do. If we have to cut Splinter Twin Kijiki, because we just don't have Pestermite or whatever. Like, retreat seems like a fine backup win con. Become this weird Jeskai pile. might just be fine with three fetches. Three fetches and two loot effects. Maybe we just play the Crucible anyway. If you Kiki Jiki a Smuggler's Copter, you do indeed have to recruit it. When you copy a card, you get the, the printed card. Similarly, if you Kiki Jiki a creature land, like a Mutavolt, for example, you'd have to activate that one too. Yeah, it's not the best up people ever. Still considering the uh, the crucible. Because Crucible would normally be, like, kind of okay here, but if we're splashing for Philidar Retreat, maybe it's just actually good. Like, get two Philidar Retreat triggers every single turn. It'd be even that I, would, I wouldn't even be questioning it if we had the Cosma, too. Like, we took a fetch over the Cosma. Um, but if we got in the Cosma and the fetch somehow, then I think the Crucible would be, like, a slam dunk. We don't have that many creatures that can cruise Smuggler's Copter. I don't think it's a Smuggler's Copter deck. You want to cut up people? We could. We do have some rain spells. Chalice, Signet, Chandra. But you're right, it's not the best up people deck. All right. So let's see, we got 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 blue sources. I'm going to trim back a little bit. 
for red, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Seems a little light. I'd like at least like six red here, right? And we have a lot of filtering, so our ability to find double red later on would be fine. We would be okay with five red, but six just seems better to me. And then white sources, this is plenty, but I do think we need the basic planes. So this should be like one land over. Nope. Okay, cool. Aw, uh, thanks, Scooby Doobies. Unless you were talking about someone else. In which case, thanks for spreading kind words anyway. Yeah, not as nutty as our last deck, but I think this deck's still quite good. Just a couple of couple of differences, right? Like we gotten thirst for knowledge or fact or fiction would have made us a lot better. We gotten uh, like the actual other half of the twin combo that would have improved things a lot. Sixteen lands plus a mox is essentially playing seventeen lands, right? Task off gaming. That's pretty normal. It's pretty standard. We have sixes and stuff. Like we have Crucible of Worlds, but we also have six drops. It's a seventeen land deck. We have a lot of nice filtering too, so we shouldn't uh, we shouldn't flood out super often, right? With cards like Preordain and Impulse and and Jace and such. Oh, it's great to hear Master Insane. Best streamer on this whole channel. Oh, man. Chandra gets us to six nicely. Sure. But we're talking about do we run 16 lands or 17? I think 17's correct. So I'm playing 17. Be like Kiki with some of our creatures. I think it literally is just some. It's like two, right? It's like Glorybringer and Frost Titan are good to Kiki. Venser's a legend, so you can't copy it. Consecrated Sphinx is like kind of win more. If you're untapping with Consecrated Sphinx, you're already winning. And then nothing down here looks interesting at all. So no, I'm not going to play Kiki Jiki to copy like one of these two cards specifically. Right, well, I guy. No, it's it's never been a consideration of going down to seven, going down to sixteen. Even if Crucible does, like give us infinite land drops. You don't always draw the Crucible, right? You still want your deck to work. Yeah, Tasseloff Gaming. Are you excited about the the new books coming out? New Dragonlance novels. Finally gonna get to see some print. After their legal dispute with wizards and stuff. I love Margaret Wise. I haven't read Dragonlance anything in forever. But I picked up the original series to give it a reread recently. Light and breezy. You like the Death Gate cycle? Yeah. Yeah, I got those too. <laughs> those are also quite good. They had, a, they had a few different worlds with like interesting world building. I guess we keep this. 
we've been reading their other series. How many other ones do they have? There's, what was it, like, War of the Rose, was that, the, was that what it was called? Dark Sword, maybe that's what I'm thinking. Rose of the Prophet. Rose of the Prophet was what I was thinking. Is it the same thing? No, it's different. There's the Rose of the Prophet, and there's also the Dark Sword trilogy. I think I read one of those and not the other. I have no fucking idea. It's been so long. You feel like Dragonlance doesn't hold up? Yeah, I mean... It wasn't like the most original thing at the time. It was just like ex accessible young adult fiction. I imagine I'll enjoy it on a reread. Oh shit, what up? Knowing myself. Hey Smoss, thanks for the 30 months. I almost want to force will that. God, they're gonna port me, so I can't vent say. I'm not gonna be able to do anything. Do we just scoop? Tesla gaming. That was a large reason why I buried myself in books as well. Super not close. Do we have the white sources to bring in oust? We've got like five white sources. I think we can play it. Played over like probe. I like never want to pay life, right? I don't think Maze of it is good when the opponent's playing those like super um super efficient threats. But maybe I want to play it here anyway. Nickfall, I do not know how many games of Vintage Cube I've played. I could calculate it. Calculate some kind of estimate. Yeah, port was good. We were in kind of a rough spot, even if they didn't port us, though. This is not the sort of matchup where library usually shines, but I don't think this is a mulligan either. Much slower draw than last game. Mm. 
Yeah, it's a pretty absurd rate, Nick Fom. People find their stride, find their zone. Note that if we force something here, we take ourselves off of library. I think that'd be okay, though. Because we're so close to, like, the Frost Titan range of things. Let's go, like, Crucible Land Drop. that we're no longer activating library. Opponents is taking care not to activate the Summoning Sick Mountain, I think. If you're ever in that situation, if you right click, it says like newly controlled on the Summoning Sick Land. You see how that's like not on this one? The blue text. Oh shit! They're ritualing off of Koth. Did not expect that. Well, what do I fucking know? Next turn we can time warp into, or I'm sorry, we can Chandra into time warp. Which seems good to me. So like the, the Frost Titan can clear cough. free block if they have an instant here. You know, they only have two cards in hand. Keeping the hazard tap down is kind of fine, too. How many cards did Library draw this game? It was like two or three, right? Kind of a big, kind of a big deal. Made it way easier for us to like force a will and stuff.
Yeah, the draw that this game was a lot less, a lot less brutal than their game one draw was for sure. With the curve kind of starting at three. They played some good cards. They played some good like anti-control cards too. Has right caught that sort of thing. We're not really pure control though, right? We're like kind of like rampy, mid-rangey. I like the Crucible was, like, not terrible, too. Usually that sort of card is kind of a liability against aggro decks. This hand's not great. Our last hand didn't even have, like, red mana, though. Not running out the Vista quite yet, because I don't want to decrease the chance of drawing red sources. Next turn I have to run out the Vista though, because then if I go, if I draw another land after that, if I draw another red source after that, I'll be able to play the Chandra. Yeah, this is looking bad for me. We just don't have that much removal in our deck to deal with the Rabble Master. Like, maybe I can get lucky and loot into an oust or something. <laughs> it's not a... Uh... Well, that, that does it. Okay, so the game's not over yet. Got a little lucky there. Not out of the woods yet either, though. Lianov says they would have kept the seven, but they generally will more aggressively than me. Hmm. Yeah, the seven didn't do anything until it, like, impulsed on turn two. It's not like it was like stuffed with cards that I wanted to see in this matchup. They weren't bad cards or whatever, but they weren't like good enough to be worth keeping. Usually you, you can mulligan a little bit more aggress aggressively against aggro. Because the early turns matter so much more. Like they either... Roll you or not, huh? Is that fetch we shuffled away? Impulse Finding Red. Impulse Finding Red is a lot better plan if you're on the play there, right? So you go turn two Impulse, and they play a threat on two, and now your, your burn spell can kill their threat on your turn three. But if you're on the draw, They've already got a three drop down before you get to kill something. That's assuming that the impulse does find the red, right? It's not guaranteed. Not a huge fan of these blocks because Jace wanted to block the goblin anyway. So just letting me untap with the Chandra. Maybe they're okay with that. I mean, they've got gobs of burn over there. So it could flashback Beanfire. It takes a lot of mana to kill this Ferocidon, though. The other option is just, like, play Frost Titan. Which I don't think is bad. It's not a bad line.
Koth coming in hot. Vigilance, that thing I want. Versus generating a 2 2 here. Generating a 2 2 does make me lose a life. Thanks for the, the kind words, awesome. Yeah, shit. Are we just gonna lose to this Koth ult now? Maybe. Mono Blue Time Walks did 3 OEM. So Chandra can down tick to clear a blocker. Just not enough, though, is it? We need a burn spell. I think Chandra's gonna need to uptick. I'm looking for a burn spell. Oh shit, what up? Could see losing the game because I like burned that fireball. Prosodon deals a lot of damage though. Like Menace is awkward. Hey, big kid, boom, thanks the 14 months. Chandra cannot ping Koth. Chandra used to be able to do that. Chandra used to be a little bit better, yeah. Decent number of outs. Yeah, we got some. Like a Glorybringer would do it, right? Nah, my Chandra. I just have one draw instead of two. Oh shit, what up? Makes things harder. Oh shit, what up? Hey, Mac Fergus, thanks for the sub, thanks for the two months. Uh... Return the cough? <laughs> you, you think? You, you think? I was gonna venture my my own Frost Titan for no reason. Or maybe I could bounce the card that they get value out of. This is so many options. Oh, I, just wish, I just wish someone in chat would tell me what to do. So I don't screw this up. I mean my poor my poor streamer brain. Hey, Eric Virgo, thanks for the sub, thanks for the 53 months. Eric says, hey, just wanted to say thanks for making great content for all these years. You're very welcome. Glad you're enjoying the old stream. How's retreat felt? Um, <laughs> well, it hasn't been amazing this game yet, but we drew a crucible or something or another fetch land. It would pop off. 
It's awkward because in this matchup, I can't really afford to be too aggressive with it. Oh shit, what up? Is killing Hellrider better than killing the other two creatures here? Yeah, probably. Hey, islands are still rad thanks to the sub, thanks to the 23 months. I'm doing fucking great. Did you see that draw? Of course I'm doing well. Shit, what up? The villain dropping a whopping 20 gifted subs into the oh, channel. Shit, what up? Congratulations to Pictures for sad 90s skids. To Bling17, to Squeen oh, Bob, to Captain Kawaii, Icy Manip, Yu Max, Yu Yu Kos, Jowlj, Plastic Pyro, oh, shit, Daggerhawk, Bullinder42, Pro Slick, Belderin, Tom Tracy, Ethid00, Roast and oh, shit, Toast513, Ixethrus, Dope Lunchable, the only kind of Lunchable. Oh shit, what up? No kidney shot though. And finally, congrats to Entropic Ender. And thanks again oh, to Villain. It's a hell of a lot of gifted subs. Oh shit, what up? Oh damn! Corn Chips 68, oh, shit, throwing some up? gifted subs on the pile. Fuck yeah. Congrats to Fat Aaron, the clams, and Death of a 32. Oh shit, what up? Oh shit, what up? Oh, shit. If we were on the draw with a mulligan, I would uh, play towards the library. On the play with a mulligan, you have to like skip land drops and stuff. I don't think it's oh, quite shit, worth what? it. Oh shit, what up? Oh shit. And Gonzo313. Thanks for your gift sub to Seems Good. Congrats, Seems Good. Oh shit, what up? Seems good indeed. Oh shit, what up? Oh shit, what up? If we draw a fetch off the probe, we can oh, kill the tree speaker. For that, huh? Oh shit, what up? If we find a blue source. Nice, do I want both of these? Then the oh, Vista shit, can give me a white source. There's only the one white card in the deck. Oh shit, what up? Oh shit, what up? Okay, that worked out well. A three, three crisis is way less threatening than a 4-4. Four, four. Drawing one fewer card. Pretty big difference there.
whittle, whittle away at their uh, board a little bit here. I agree, Jas Jasper. Gift subs are pretty sweet. Blessing Beast is kind of hard for us to deal with. Is this the deck that had control magic in it? No. We need to, like, Glorybringer or Frost Titan or Phantasmal Image. What up? Hey, it's not GG. Thanks for gifting five subs. Congrats to I'm Sticky. Well, who isn't? To Striker 625. Wow, to Zether, to Verizon, and to Skip Bop Bad Dibbly. Oh, what up? Hmm, look at me scatting live on stream in front of everybody. Oh, shit, what up? Shouldn't be legal, I say. Oh, shit, what up? You surprised we don't hold the fetch for next turn? We have a crucible. We need to crack the fetch to play the fill out our retreat. You might may not play this. Sakurasu, thanks for the sub, thanks for 26 months. Oh shit, what up? Oh shit, what up? Metamedes, thanks for getting five subs. Hell to the yeah. Congrats to Metaber Metabreaker, to Bloodbraid32, to the Der the Derb87, Chemdog42, and Ticeman12. Oh shit, what up? So much love. I'm gonna release some corns. Yeah, right, early enough. We're at 68 subs. 68! Can you imagine a better number than 68? It's gotta be like the best number, right? If we had a little bit more life, I'd like to like take the damage and then just start building a, a presence. No. No, my retreat. Oh shit, what up? Oh shit, what up? <laughs> oh shit, what up? Garpave GC is gifted a sub to Lument. Oh shit, what up? Ulyanov is gifted a sub to Vex Does Things and Zodiac Brave. Thanks for gifting a sub to Kevlin. Hell yeah. We did it! We hit 71! The main goal.
Trying to decide if it's worth activating Jace here. It probably is. Ishina, thanks for the bits. Ishina says, why are there no round pastries at the Archimedes Bakery? Because all of their pie are squared. Uh, uh-huh. Uh-huh. I'm gonna only say this once, and I hope uh, I hope it doesn't offend any of y'all. Oh, I hope nobody gets offended by this. But fuck Oko, Jesus, well, that's a good one. Hey, Papa Chulo, thanks for gifting a sub to one Queen Flip Eleven. Congrats, Queen Flip. Copying Questing Beast also lets me clear the Oko this turn. If you copy, if you Phantasmal Image of Consecrated Sphinx, when it's an elk form, I'm pretty sure you get the printed card. I'm pretty sure we get a 4-6 Sphinx. I think it was slightly better to get another Frost Titan this turn anyway, but that was a line. Blowing up top doesn't really do anything, because we don't have the Consecrated Sphinx. Um, in play, so they wouldn't have to respond by drawing. What would happen was, would be we would play, put the battle display tardy in the top, and they would just respond by drawing and fizzle it, and then we wouldn't get the 2 1 body. Man. Lethal. Um, I mean, it depends. I think you get some bodies in play. If the shield breaker was an instant instead of a sorcery, if the battle display was an instant instead of a sorcery, we could kill the top now in response to the t in response to the tap there. What kind of stip you think in Lena of?
Five color dirtle. I would love to do a five color dirtle stim. That just sounds like a good time. That game was scary for a little bit in there. The questing Beast almost murdered us by its lonesome. Was that sincerity or sarcasm? I would never be sarcastic about doing a stem. Because someone's gonna donate, and if I was being sarcastic, then I'd have to like refund the donation and be a fucking mess, right? Almost beat us with the standard deck. Hey, Oko's Oko's banned. <laughs> they also had that sick disenchant, right? The disenchant uh, planeswalker. Getting the Felidar retreat off the board was pretty important. Hey, Rusty Venture, thanks to the sub, thanks to the 15 months. The Delta Kit. <sighs> Where'd the yawn? I got up uh, super early. Super early today. Because I had some groceries delivered. And the sleep schedule's been kind of all over the place. Hey, Ulyanov. Thanks for the $20 donation for a five color dirtle stip. Our second stip of the night. I think I'm going to mold this. If I could turn one to Lava Mancer, I'd like it a little bit better. Fuck do I... What if I've been one of the forces? I kind of like having the probe. So I have some information as to what to counter. How I found grocery delivery. Well, as someone who doesn't live within uh, walking distance of a grocery store anymore and uh, doesn't have a driver's license or a car, it's pretty good. <laughs> I do not mind if some items were substituted for other similar items. That is, that is fine with me. It's still much cheaper than ordering like food delivery every day, right? I think there's a Woodman's within biking distance, and as the weather gets nicer and nicer, I might try like biking out there with a backpack. Give me an excuse to get out of the house. Hmm. So the issue with Force of Willing Cosma is then we just lose to that fucking ooze. Do we just lose to this Cosmo? The use like literally beats us, right?
The warp is, like, interesting, but it also doesn't really do anything. The Vista getting me a second red source is actually kind of nice, because it means that uh, Chandra and Glorybringer start to look kind of real. And we also have this Crucible. never experienced that wise guy. I'm pretty good at biking with like a full backpack and then a, then a bag under one arm maybe. Yeah, I think we're gonna end up losing to the Cosma, but fucking oh well, right? I was straight on time. Yeah, delivery definitely saves a lot of time, right? But time. Jeff, I'm not in the mood. But we can't fucking flip it. So they don't have an Avenger, which would be pretty choice. Oracle is sweet with our Crucible situation, so is Tireless Tracker. I think we grab Tracker here. Hoping for an Avenger. So I got my lane up first. Get one more 01. I don't think blowing up two lanes does much of anything, especially when we know that the threat that they have in their hand is a uh, questing beast, which Acidic Slime can't even block, right?
Shit. The moment lose their Garrick because of the image. What a bad turn for meme. Cards would have been so much better if I'd gotten them like <laughs> slightly sooner. Fuck. Yeah, I agree, Hippo fan. Every time is worth something. Then you're spending gas to get to the grocery store and. still left in the deck. The only way of getting back the time walk is to find Jace. You did good work, Tyler's Tracker. Now you may finally rest. What they put on top? Some mana rock, right? for crisis makes sense It's a little, it's a little risky. I kind of want to play the Consecrated Sphinx before they play their Krasis. But then that involves us going down to one life. The other line is to Frost Titan, tap Questing Beast.
Do we live off mana? We don't have any counters, right? Yeah, we don't have shit. There's lightning strike. We could draw lightning strike. And because we're going down to one life, I don't want to bring back the Vista. I want to leave it in my graveyard, either for Lava Mancer or for Felidar. Retreat if we get that card. We have 13 cards left. Maybe I'm just supposed to trade with the Questing Beast. Frost Titan tap down Krasis. Can they deck us? Not... It says you may draw two cards, so we would be decking ourselves. Hey, Eva the Beaver, thanks for the sub. Thanks for 28 months. That is indeed almost 29 months. Some nice fancy math you got going on. So, so long as they don't, like, I don't know, have the best turn ever here, I think we're in a good spot. We can give our board plus two plus two next turn, plus a giant bean firing. Slime's a good one. That just pop in the retreat. Yeah. Well, the Lava Mancer can clear the slime, and Frost Titan can keep the uh, Krasis tapped.
Boom! Yeah, so I wanted to... I mean, the opponent's not expecting a bean fire for 11, right? Not necessarily. Maybe they are, maybe they're not. But I certainly didn't attack as though I had a bane fire for 11. Maybe I did. The uh, the idea behind the attack, sending two 3-3s three at the frailies, makes it look like, look, I'm trying to clear your frailies and also like chip in some damage. And it's making kind of like an awkward looking attack. Frost Titan tapping down a mana dork also meant that they weren't going to like chump a 3-3 three three and then be like, yeah, I'll throw this in front of the Frost Titan too. If they do chump Frost Titan there... They lose the frailies in the attack, and then we have to use the bean fire to clear the hydroid crisis, which is a little bit worse. You know, it's uh, it doesn't feel quite as good as bean firing them for eleven, but um, still would have cleaned up a lot of their board nicely. We still would have been really favored going into the next couple of turns, leaving them with like nothing. Anyway, I liked it. I liked the attack. Obviously, it turned out well. God, this hand is so fucking filthy. With this kind of draw, I'm just like, please don't fucking duress me, you know? <laughs> just just let me have this awesome hand. Please don't fuck with me. Yes. Learned about Zodiac Snake. I don't think I know that one. I know there was a cycle of like Zodiac Dragon and stuff. Now I'm curious. Yeah, that's some sweet art. They've been to Swamp to chart a course. I'm actually gonna play Preordain, and then with the Preordain on the stack, I guess I'll like to be Library. Get the deepest. No, because I went, well, the scry, the scry, I'll see it anyway. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I still like that line. I guess Impulse, like, actually looks the deepest, but I kind of want to play the Lava Mancer this turn, too. Play Lava Mancer, yeah. How do people get their moto to respond that fast? What do you mean? Maybe I should let that resolve. Glorybringer could have cleared it, right? I forgot that I was a land drop ahead of them. Gotcha, Liberator. It might be, it might be a mixture of things, right? Like I've got fiber internet, and then also a computer with just like gobs of memory and stuff. So 
So it could be a couple of different things. Slowing things down on your end. Be hauled. I mean, I need to use my computer for work, right? It's still not exactly easy to like actually break the the standard deductible. What drink is this? This is a San Pellegrino. Worth just like waiting on on library, but they do get to ECD the Sphinx. But our library is back online. If I want to impulse, now's the time to do it, hum. So I we'd find a crucible, because crucible and retreat's so good. Yeah, Scully doesn't do much here. We have the onboard lava mancer. Dimahu asks, do I use a solid state drive to run the game? Um, yeah, I think so. I've got one of those new fancy things that's not a solid state drive, it's something else. But I think it's mostly just my operating system that's on that. And then the rest of my storage space is a bunch of solid state drives cobbled together. Two of them are from like old PCs. Oh, they are still solid state drives? Okay.
Actually, can this Vista fucking get anything? Yeah, one more island, I think. And one more mountain. Okay, cool. Do I crack it now? They're gonna get back a creature back with the, else, with the ECD. Or they bounce a cat beast, I think I'd rather make another cat beast. Stop the goblin waltz. I think the only way we lose from here is if they like have a random ass brain freeze in their deck or something. This is such a rare strategy for me. Splashing for Felidar Retreat, not something I would do normally. Putting Crucible of Worlds in a deck that doesn't have uh, Strip Mine, also very rare for me. But it's been good. Felidar Retreat and Crucible are both cards that like work really well together, and then they also play very well with the Time Walk and the Time Warp. Both of them give you that like recurring ban um the recurring board advantage, card advantage, you know. Remember all the happy times we had. I feel like we listened to this one earlier. This is how random works, huh? I have not gotten back library from the graveyard with Crucible, no. You didn't think this looked like a trophy to you? Maybe we got spoiled by how good the blue, mono blue deck was. This, has, this deck's got some good cards. Force Will, Force Negation, Bribery, Time Walk, Library, Time Warp, etc. Oh, fucking etc. is so good. We do have some mediocre filler, of course. Would you even put back Chalice, maybe? Or image, let's put big image. What happened to last night's draft for future Caleb? I don't remember it at all. Must have been a train wreck. I think the man issues. I think the man issues with that deck mattered. I can't remember if we went like two and one or, or if we scrubbed. No idea.
if you time walk here, then you're out of Library of Alexandria range. But we can impulse, and impulse replaces itself. Oh no. Now maybe we have to take a turn off. I'm unsure. Yeah, if I hold the Mox Sapphire, and the Duress doesn't take us off of a library. I think I do want to get back on it, get back on the, the library train. He's gonna pass here. Hope that they don't have, like, Snap Duress or whatever. It'd be kind of punishing. There's the Sculler. Fuck. That's okay. We can catch up back up on development if we want to. Go, like, land into a Chalice on 2 or whatever. We just won't be ahead. God, we could just wait a turn and have library back on. <laughs> Hey, Rogue. Thanks for the sub. Thanks for the 57 months. I mean, you play out the Jace, they bounce up with the Krakus, you're in the same spot for Library. It's possible we could, like, sneak in a Jace flip thanks to Time Warp. We'll see. This might be the exact sort of matchup that rewards me for just like sitting on on uh, I'm getting library active again for those three turns or whatever. Show me what you got. Path ECD borrower.
Are they trying to petty theft their scholar back to hand? We already played a lane for the turn, so we're gonna have to discard anyway. Do we bin the Jace or do we bin the land? That's the next question. There's a good chance the Jace just ne like never does something. I guess Frost Titan can keep Krakus tapped. All right, I'll bin a land. See Stone Debate, thanks to the sub, thanks for 52 months. I don't like bribering them when they have borrower, because I can just like get it back. Should think, friend. Probably losing the time warp here. It's all right. We could have slipped in time warp just to like draw a card and, and get a land into playing. In pretty much any of these turns with library going. We didn't know they had Thought Season in their deck though. But sometimes you can combine Time Warp with another play, like a Frost Titan or something. We're starting to get to that area of the game where Time Warp plus something else be something real. One Unknown? Yeah, they do have One Unknown. A lot of discard going on, huh? Yeah, Warp Jace doesn't help versus Krakus. Frost Titan Jace does. And this should force them to have to burn a path on Jace, I think. Depending on what they've drawn. We'll see. You don't want to try and Phantasmal image a Frost Titan here, because they can path the Frost in response, and then you just lose your image. Wouldn't be a very good line. the Jace at an end of turn. I guess they could still Petty Theft it, but that leaves us open to briberying them. Right now they need a White Source, right? To play ECD and Path, that takes triple white, and then we have two, because the Crocus is tapped. I thought what they were going to do is Path Jace at our end of turn, untap, ECD, exile the Frost Titan.
Maybe they have a sweeper in their deck or something they were trying to draw. Or maybe they have a better play in mind, who knows. They have a couple unknowns now. Pretty good. That's really good. Now I can untap the Crocus with that. Exactly enough mana. Shit. We don't know what's fully in their deck for bribery. We do know that they still have a petty theft. So briberying them would still be worth if they had like a Venser in their deck, because then we could bounce our Frost Titan, get it back. But we don't know. Actually, we saw Riftwing, right? Didn't we see Riftwing? That would kind of do the trick, wouldn't it? Image is fucking interesting. Spell or ability. So we could image copy Frost Titan, tap down Caracas, and then play another image from our hand. Copy Frost Titan, tap down something. And then if they tried to image their image back to their hand, they would run into a rough time, like it would die. I think Cloud Skate's still just a little bit better. You definitely don't want to get Venser here when they have a Crocus out there. You just be like tutoring the Venser for them. So not only do they not get the Rift Wing, they also lose their Brazen Borrower, because it fizzles. If 
We need to land here because we have Crucible out. Oh shit, what up? The other hand is still ECD path. Hey, press a big thanks to the sub, thanks for sharing the prime. Appreciate it. It's fucking hot. Do they not have path? If I had path, I would have passed this mentor. Maybe they have plans for it with like the Frost Titan and the Jace and stuff. I think they know that about Glorybringer too. We're currently playing some Vintage Cube. Vintage Cube. Is that a format that's on MTG Arena? Kind of seems like your question is answered literally by watching the screen in front of you. negation to ponder, right? We can force of negation, whatever the ponder finds. For sure, White Mike. Yeah, that's the main reason. Moto is an older program. And it's got a lot more formats on it. If you want to play like Legacy and Modern and stuff. Sorry if I came off a little sassy there. There's a certain type of person who has like a strong affiliation towards either like Moto or Arena. And for a while when Arena was new, would come into chats and be like, oh, this shit. <laughs> you know, like whatever you were doing, there would be somebody who was just there to shit on the, uh, the other program. So that's where I was coming from. Ashiok, pretty scary when you only have 11 cards left. Chandra down. Monk's to Monk tokens trading one for one here. I guess I'll get a land back. I don't know if I want to crack the Vista. But 
might as well get it back, huh? Could I explain the format to you? Have you drafted cube before? Arena also has cube. But it's just like restricted to, to more newer sets. Cube takes the best cards from throughout Magic's history. If you've ever drafted, if you've ever played a limited format, that's what Cube is, only instead of ra opening packs from a set to like get access to the cards and play that like um, the designed limited format that Wizards made, Cube instead takes the best cards from throughout Magic's history. It puts them all in one Depending, like sometimes there's themed cubes and stuff. They're just player designed instead of instead of uh, wizards designed. Limited formats, basically. Vintage cube is like the the most powerful, right? You got like Moxon and stuff, some like super old, super old, super powerful cards. Let's see, so the Glory Breaker has haste. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So we top deck like any spell. You should have lethal here. Yeah, that's a reason to fetch. Exert this one, send this one at to Fairy. Keep the Crocus tapped. And then what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna run out the Jace, but not the Consecrated Sphinx. Because I think we're in a spot where um, the opponent needs a sweeper to survive. We should have the game locked up without needing to run the Sphinx out. Almost don't even need to play the Jace, huh? I feel like it's like a moral victory at this point. With how much we've been fighting over that Crocus. Okay, right, real milkmen? I probably should have paid attention, huh, when I was bribering them. We saw, like, Scarab Gods and stuff. We saw Scarab Gods and Vencers. I just remember the creatures. The creature base. Yay! Let's back to make trophies! Not too shabby! Not too shabby at all.